Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is George Kosh. I'm CEO of World Profit. Myself and Sandy Hunter, the president, um, is uh, joining us in our, well, five, six hundredth workshop. I don't know. Uh, we're, we're up there somewhere. Anyways, happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Uh, you saw that I have a little uh, graphic in the member area there, um, and it's a great day. So we're getting through winter. Uh, sales season is still on. We're doing, you know, we're, we're on track for an incredible month. <laughs> Um, I'm never going to get tired of saying that, though. Um, there were years where we didn't have great sales. You know, ask Linda. You know, we've gone through our ups and downs, uh, and we're on a on a fantastic up now. I think the reason is because we've we've taken many years now to just finesse our system, um, work on on you know rather than releasing new products all the time, we're the current ones better. And uh, I think that's a great one. Welcome all, all of the new members. I want to give, just give you more of an introduction. Um, my name is, is George Kosh, as you know. I, my, my background is, is military. Uh, so, you know, when I joined the military, I went through a military college because I didn't have any money. I got a free degree um, in um, math and physics. And I got a master's in physics, too, um, after that. And I did use a computer quite a bit uh, doing my master's, um, and, and I learned computers. I, I also used computers a lot in the military, so they made that my side job. Like, you couldn't just be a pilot and live the life, right? So you had to have these secondary jobs. So somebody saw me with a laptop in 1990, you know, crazy, right? And uh, so they, they gave me... Uh, Kind of an office and everything, so I worked with computers, learned how to do. I'm not even going to call it programming. We used a program called uh, Firefox. Uh, no, that Fox. Oh, yeah, Fox. Fox data had advanced to now 25 years later, and uh, I and uh, running World Profit with uh, um, Sandy Hunter. If you have any questions at all during this. Feel free to fill in the chat, and uh, we'll, 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 I'll get to your questions. I'm, you guys are over here, and my recording window, which I check every now and then, is over there. How do you get started in the program? Really, really easy. Um, the program is broken to really one big step um, to get you started, and then you can go from there. But the first step is get to lesson number three. Um, you're going to find that it's... Um, it's going to get you um, into the training video, um, which is on the top menu on, under the training link. You're going to go through that video and you're going to learn how to promote. Um, and, and while you're doing that, I just want you to say, how did you get here? And you got here based on somebody else following that video and promoting. So you landed on a page, mission you came in, you were greeted at the door. Um, and uh, by our incredible monitor team. And our monitor team is, um, they are comprised of members. They're, I'm not in there. Um, Sandy Hunter is not in there. It's just, it's members. It's powered by members. So the com whole company is, is run by our members who are the first people that you meet when you come in and you see what we call monitors. And I think that's part of the reason we do so well. We're a community of people helping each other. And the monitors don't get paid directly for every hour they're in there. They do it voluntarily, and um, it works. Okay, so you're here because your sponsor promoted. We're going to teach you how to promote landing pages and not websites. We're going to teach you to promote squeeze pages. Um, they're all the same, landing pages, squeeze pages, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're easy to figure out. The thing you can do is sign up. And that's what these pages are all about. And you'll learn all about them in the video. The promotion tools. I'm actually going to talk to you a bit today about Jitbit. It's a great tool to help you do your promotions five times faster than you could without it. Uh, Postbox, which is an email management program. Um, one of our, probably one of the biggest problems as uh, most of you would probably guess, oh, uh, not enough orders? No, no, we're, we're okay there. 
Um, internet doesn't work fast enough? No, nope, internet's great. People not receiving email, number one. That's, that's the crusher for us right now. They, um, again, organized with email. Unbelievable that I even say that. Could you imagine that? The, it's kind of like, you know, they, they do, but they've taken 50 years to get to the point where they actually do work. And, you, you know, you dial somebody up and they get the call or it goes to voicemail. With email, it's not so easy. Um, to most people, you would think, well, what do you mean, George? I just check my email and I get it. No, you don't. So let me explain that to you um, on one of today's topics, which is getting your email, being organized. Do not use for business Hotmail, Yahoo, Comcast, any of those. Um, I see them and I just cringe. Somebody was using Outlook. Uh, don't use Outlook um, for business. Keep those email boxes. They're fine, but just not for business. You, you definitely want to use Gmail or you can use the email that we supply um, as part of your program as an option. Okay, you can, you can also get email through us. Uh, but I do highly recommend Gmail. Today we're gonna talk about, um, I'm gonna go over the modern menu, the classic menu, just, just so that people understand what, where we're going with that. And you know, to start out, the menu I'm talking about is the top one. It's at the very uh, top of your page. I am going to just momentarily uh, turn off the Live Business Center here, just so I can show it to you. It's up here. And the classic menu, which you're all used to, there's a button here. And I, I, I put it here so that when you click on it, you it re, recreates the page with all of the normal menu items up here that so many of you have been using for years and years and years. And it's fine to, to use that menu. But part of our modernization of our member area includes that top menu. And if you go to any place like um, Amazon, for example, um, and I'll even go there right now. Say I, I go to my Amazon account. Um, I'll just go to the Canadian one. Um, you can see up here, you see there's a um, big search window. There's drop downs and all this stuff. And these are called modern menus. They're, they work in um, mobile devices really well. And, you know, and even you've got this kind of thing. Now, I've left the left menu alone. I didn't, I didn't do the, the, the hamburger thing here. Um, and I, I don't really plan to. But you can click on modern menu and it will come up like this. It's the same, uh, you know, stuff's all up there. It's just a little easier to get to, but it takes a little bit of getting used to, right? Like, how do you log out? Well, you click on support and then you log off. And you get used to it. Right? You just do it over and over again. You say, what's under money makers? You know, and you, you just get used to it. Now, one of the big things, though, that I wanted the monitors to know is that the associates, they see the same old, same old. They, I haven't modernized their menus or anything, and I, I don't plan on it. Um, they, they can go in and they've got their logout and their support and all that stuff. So if you're a monitor, keep doing what you've been doing. Uh, their, their area hasn't changed. Okay? The um, big thing for new members is you can switch between the menus. Um, you might be watching a video and the video says top menu, click on this and you're like, well, I don't see it up there. Just switch back if you want to the classic menu or take some time and tour, you know, where things are. Okay. Um, and then that should help you. Uh, I, you know, you notice when I'm talking, I'm always looking over here. It's because the chat window is here. Um, if I put it on the main screen, it causes a big black um, spot on the recording. And, and you folks see it too. I'm like, I don't know why they did that, but I guess I can't help it. Are there any questions about that? It's, um, it's just another menu, that's all. Okay, so we've got that going. Um, the boot camp, I wanted to talk to you a bit, and this really does apply to a lot of the new people. Um, Get on lesson three and read lesson three. And as you scroll down, you'll see that there's a, a link that says, you know, go to training, which is still training on the top menu, and watch that first video, the boot camp lesson one, must watch video. Very, very important. And then get your bonuses. All you have to do is really just copy this 
and um, paste it down in the support ticket and submit a help request. Okay, just it's a quick support form. So it's there for you if you need it, and that'll get you into the bonuses. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you that too, how, how that all works. Um, but the bootcamp lessons, I did a bit of work on that area. The bootcamp lesson summary now is a, a little bit more user friendly, meaning all you have to do is if you want to read a lesson, you just click on it and it'll, it'll drop down for you. Okay, you don't, you can change to that lesson using the change button, but you can kind of preview it. You know, just click on read lesson and you can see um, what the lesson entails. And of course, there's still a search box up on the top, up here to search. And that will include all the lessons and any information. You can also download the book. You won't see this. This is my personal link, which I click on once, usually once a week, which updates your ebook here. So it's faster to download. And when you click on it, it just brings up another menu and it, you know, it's 217 pages. It's there if you want to put it on your phone and read it. And it's just all the lessons. Okay, all of the lessons are in there. Table of contents just gives you an overview. And it is kept updated, at least, you know, I update it once a week for everyone. But, you know, if you want to, you know, learn about introduction to ClickBank, you can just read it there. It'll drop down. You can just take a quick, easy read of, of everything in there. Okay, so a little faster. Um, and again, more modern, um, easier to go through. You'll notice I'm trying to put these on every page, uh, just so you know where you are all the time. Just makes it a little easier. Okay. So email and how to use it. What I wanted to talk to everyone about is whitelisting. Um, how many incidents do we get a week of people? And I want to I want to say this. Normally I say on a scale of one to ten. I'm going to say on a scale of one to eleven. We've had people send us emails because we canceled their account. And you're thinking, and I know you're thinking this, so do you, you know, do you send them like renewal notices? Yeah, we send them about 20 of them. And then we always extend them days of time so that they could log in maybe and see that renewal is due. That's not enough. So we're talking 20 messages by email and we have an auto calling system like we use call looping and that's not enough either because well the phones you know their phone usually you get a you know i just want to have a moment here they're not in business if you're in business and you have a phone you should have a phone that you check and i get it you're not going to answer your phone every time it rings you can have a phone like a skype number or something where you can get voicemail and kind of have that. So they don't have any of that. So on a scale of one to 10, they yell at us in emails to the tone of an 11. And I mean, there's some harsh words used. <laughs> They're really bad because we canceled their account without telling them or notifying them. And in every case, we're not doing anything wrong. We're simply sending them to their email and they don't get the, e they, they don't get the email. Well, folks, where does it go? Well, it's very simple. It goes right here into their spam folder. So they go to their Gmail account and their account looks like this, right? They go, hey, where is it? Where's the renewal notices? You sent me 20. Well, they're all in your spam folder, probably, because you didn't whitelist or tell your email program that I get email from World Profit. Okay, so what you want to do, and this is really easy to do, is at any point in your day, when you log into your Gmail account, you want to go up into, um, you've got a little settings area here. Um, sorry, this little cog wheel, and you go into your settings, and it will bring up your um, inbox and categories, and then you've got labels. The biggest one is labels, and if you scroll down, spam is usually hidden. The um, intellectuals <laughs> at, at Gmail 
or Google have decided they don't really want you to see your spam folder. Why? I don't know. I subscribe to all kinds of different companies. I've purchased things from Walmart. And when I get my receipt from Walmart, a mega billion dollar company, billions of dollars, they're worth so much money. It goes into my spam folder. So I have to whitelist everything I get from Walmart. Can you imagine that? I had the same problem with Groupon. Like I subscribed to Groupon and I never got their email. Of course, I know better. I check my spam folder and there is my Groupon. This was years ago. So you want to make sure that it says show because when you first get it, it'll say hi. And you see it over here. It's like there's a junk folder, but there's no spam folder. You have to click on more and then more and you have to scroll and oh, there it is. So make sure that with your spam, you say show. Now I hide so many things like see how it says starred. I could care less about starred email. I don't star any email. I get email. <laughs> that tell you, I could do a comedy skit on this thing. <laughs> People, they've got so many. Hi, I'd like, I'd like to phone somebody. Okay, here's their number. And do you want to star it or not? You know, Phones are really cool because you phone the number and you get somebody. With email, it used to be that way. You used to actually send somebody an email and they got it. So now these brilliant geniuses have six million options. So save yourself some time. Go to the cogwheel, click on labels, and make sure hide all the garbage things like snoozed. Like who the, who's the idiot who invented that? Anyways, so go down here to spam and make sure you can see it. That way you can check it every single week and make sure that you're not missing. So here's an example. This is in spam. Why is it in spam? Well, let's get rid of that. Entire web update. This is not spam, first of all. So I'm gonna go and grab another one here and I'm going to whitelist it. I'm gonna tell it to never ever send this thing to spam again. So you've got it in here and big bad Google has said, whoa, whoa, you know, this is spam, right? It's like, no, I'm not going to click that. I'm going to click right here and I'm going to, without even thinking, I'm going to go filter. And then I'm not going to look at this. See all this stuff up here? I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to create filter and I'm going to say, never send to spam. So turn your thinker off. Just do what I just did. Da -da -da -da. Create filter, done deal, report not spam. Now I'm going to go through because I keep getting these and I'm going to say not spam. Okay, not spam because I registered with that company. SEO profiler. I, I, I don't want that to go to spam. I signed up for it. So again, into here, into here, filter, create filter and never send to spam. Okay, you can, if you wish, with World Profits email, mark it as important, okay, and have your important folder showing if you, if you want. But I like everything in my inbox. You know what I mean? It's like somebody phoning you and you go, go to my other phone number or something. It doesn't make any sense to me. I just want everything in my inbox. So create filter, not spam. This one too, I can click on it again, not spam. So now you can see my inbox is pretty clean, right? I'm getting everything I want. I am subscribed to Herculist, um, Google, that's because today I logged in, um, that kind of thing. All right. Now, to make life much easier, this is, to me, this is tough. Like, you got to log in, clear out your spam, make sure that it's, you know, that whitelisting is done. But this is a pain in the bum because you've got to log in to, say, you have two or three Gmail accounts. Okay, so in steps a program that I highly recommend, and you can find it. I'm going to take you to where you can find it. And it's under the cool tools. So I think we're probably under there. Oh, sorry, Biz Builders. Cool tools right here, or it's just on the classic menu on the top. And if you scroll down, you will find it right here. It's number seven. And there's a demo video, so I'm not going to go crazy demoing it too, but it's called Postbox and I have it. It just loads up. And the important thing 
is that remember when I unmarked entire web? So it is an exact replica in your inbox of what Google has when you logged into your Google Mail. And it's easy to set up. You simply set up an account and it says, what's the name? And you say, you know, worldprofit.inc at Gmail. And it'll ask your password and you log into your Gmail account. You should always be logged into that email account through your web browser. Okay. And go from there. And yeah, you can add webmail to Postbox too, Brian. You shouldn't have any trouble with it. Okay. Um, the beauty of this is, you see how I've got another email account. It's called seoworldprofit at gmail.com. To go from one to another is as simple as clicking on the box. Whereas if I went in through my browser, okay, I would have to um, click on quite a few things, right? I would have to go, um, so if I go in here, I would have to go up here and add another account and log into that other account and, and then have multiple browser tabs open. Can you imagine doing that every day? It would be quite a pain. Whereas this, you just pull it up and it's automatic. It's right there. Okay. And when you delete email here, it deletes everywhere. Okay. So when I say, okay, well, I don't want this one. Um, I just hit the delete button and it's gone inside. It's gone everywhere. Okay. So, I've been using this program for since it came out. Um, I, they, I used to use a program called Eudora, and Eudora just you know just ceased to exist. And then I tried Thunderbird, which is a free one from um, Firefox. I, I just decided to pay because I really want good quality, and I love this program, Postbox. If you want to find it, just go to Cool Tools. There is a fee, but I think they have a lifetime package, you know, for thirty bucks or something. So it's well worth your time, okay? This is going to save you huge amounts of time and organization, right? So some people say, well, I get so much email. Oh, okay, well, then you can just go Control A, select it all, and then hit the delete button. There you go, no more email. Okay, and then you go to your next box. And you say, well, I'd like to maybe earn some credits. Well, you can look down and you can earn some credits, um, that kind of thing. Okay. Does that, does that help? Does that make sense? Yes, all your Gmail in one spot, Linda. Well, here's my World Profit Inc. SEO World Profit. Um, I have my um, error one here. I've got another one here. I've got George World. This, this one's GeorgeKosh1 at gmail.com right here. So I've got three there, and then there's another one down here. It's called My List System. This is from years ago. I still have it. My List System at gmail.com. Um, I've got all of my, you know, traffic ad links and all that for those 18 sites, and it's worth it. It is. It really is. An incredible email program. Okay. So I I can't live without it. I've never. I don't even know what I would do if somebody said, "Well, you gotta come here." So are you kidding me? <laughs> To log into 10 accounts, not happening. Okay, so there you go. All right, I want to talk to you about this auto texting program. Does anybody, is there anybody that has any questions about it? It's, it's also under Google Tools. There's a demo video here, but I want to explain the concept to you. Right. What happens is normally if somebody gave you, um, say, a message, like uh, you go to add examples here. OK, so training, add examples. And say I look in here and I say, OK, so I'm going to do some promotion. So normally what you would do is you would have to take the subject here, the message, and the URL and you would have to copy and paste them every time or you could put them say in a text file and you can tell right now that's going to be tough right like you go you'd create a file and you'd say well here's my subject right here and you'd copy it and because you'd want it in a place where you can maybe put all your ads in here can you see how that would be just brutally difficult right 
what TextBox allows you, or JitBit allows you to do, is you can save the subject under a key like S1, for example. That could be subject one. You would come up with the short forms. Okay, so you could say SS11, and you see how that just turns into a subject. And then and SS22 um, would be a message. And you would you could write them down if you want, or you could create them in this program called JitBit. And you would you could reuse them over and over and over again every time you just keyed in SS11, SS22, and SS33. You can modify them too. Um, you can change the links, you could update them, and that kind of a thing. So you would come out with perfect ads. You could have a signature file. The key is you would do things that you would like signature. You could go SI11, and that would be maybe your signature file. Okay. For me, that was SI11 is for the silver video presentation, right? For just to make it easy to reply and support. I have another one called Q11. Questions. We're here live all day to help you in our chat system. Log in now, that kind of thing. And I use that in our in our associate newsletter. Do you see how fast that is? I program with it, right? Say I'm going to do a bootstrapping um, of a page. And now I know this is all gibberish, but it's just... Could you imagine if I had to look for this code, right? It's easy to store it in your head because it's just BS11, right? That's my bootstrap. So I've got things, I've, I've got probably 80 of these shortcuts and it makes my life much more efficient. I can do things 10 times faster. What you need to do is just come up with that sort of system that you're going to tie in all these things. And you do it with JitBit. And it's very good software. You can find it down in under Cool Tools too. So if I go into Cool Tools, uh, like I said, under Viz Builders, you can find it. Okay, it's down there. And, okay, and it's I believe I've never paid again for it. Okay, I've never had to pay again for it. Right, so it's it's there for you. Okay, and you can get all the details clicking on that. All right. Are there any questions? So that, um, Josette, I, I have a great idea to help you with a ton of um, safe lists. What I would do is I go to the advanced menu here, and it's called Link Manager. And what it allows you to do is you can create categories and you can add. So what you would say is I want to add, like say you come up with your thing. So I'll, I'll view the links page here just to give you, a, you know, kind of this is what it looks like. So you could create a category called exchanges and a category called safe lists. Okay. And then you can manage them. And all here. Make sure that you order them. One, two, three, four, five. Take your time to order your categories. Of course, you're going to have exchanges, safe lists. Some of these things you don't, you know, you might not use. You can delete links in here too. But you go to your link manager, and this is where you can really get get things going. You say, say I had a traffic exchange like traffic ad links. And I wanted to go directly to my login page. Okay, so I say, well, I want to add, I want to add a link. And the category is exchanges. And I'll order it, you know, number two, because I know traffic centers in there number one. I'll call it traffic ad links. Now I know it's HTTP or HTTPS these days, doesn't matter. Traffic ad links. So say I saved it, and I go to my um, links page now, and I say, okay, well, that's pretty cool. Um, traffic ad links, and I say, hmm. Well, I kind of wanted to go to the login page, right? I don't want to go to the main page every time. So you can take this one and just copy it, and then go back to your link manager. Click on link manager, and you want to just change that one. 
instead of traffic add links, I just want it to be overwrite it with this. And you can put an S in there, doesn't matter. And save it. That way, next time I'm in there, okay, I'll go to my links page and this will take me to the login. Now, if I'm using a program called RoboForm or a password management system, I'm, I'm good to go. It'll show up and it'll say, do you want to log in? And then you log in. I use the multi-commissions area, <clears throat> which is in your member area to log in now. I <laughs> just go there and log in. Or I use RoboForm. This, you can have as many as you want. And you can also see it on your website. So you, you don't, you know, you're not putting anything in here like passwords or anything. But you can also make them private. Like say you don't want them to show on your, on your thing. It says private only. And I'm going to remodel this area too. Okay, it's going to be uh, modernized. You'll know they're not modern when you see the screen buttons. I'll do this this week though. I'm going through the whole <laughs> thousands of pages. But you can make it private so it doesn't show up on your website. What's this good for? You can share this, right? The, 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 uh, the, um, I'm not going to save that, but you can go to your website and you can send people to this page and say, these are the places I promote. You know, just to help people out. All right. It's pretty neat. And let me just look it up there. And yeah, I see that brand. That's good. Yeah, um, our job, you know, I will say, we, we don't get mad at anyone. Um, we understand the frustration. Um, so we, we usually just kind of take it and say, you know what, if you're ready to work with us, we're ready to work with you. <laughs> okay, so how about ideas for managing the emails from Safeless? Postbox. Get Postbox. Try it. You'll like it. They give you, I think, 30 days to try. You'll not regret it. Postbox is your friend. That's the best way to organize all of your email, not just safe list email. All right. I wanted to overview the CB Maximizer. Um, again, I did this last week at the workshop, and it was a big hit. We, you know, a lot of people ordered it, which was nice. But I wanted to show it to you folks again because it's a really good, um, uh, a really good, I guess, um, enhancement to um, building your business. And the the way it works is it is a one time, or sorry, it's an annual fee, but it's a special type of autoresponder system. And I'm not going to go over it again because I went over this last week, but this help video now is updated. It's brand new. What this really does is it's just a way of generating an auto auto responder that sends out ClickBank products from the ClickBank promo kit to people every couple of days with all of your information in it. But what I did, which was really cool, is I changed it so that now the, these products here, every time somebody comes to the page, they would see a different product show up from the PLR product vault. Okay, so I'm hitting refresh here. And it always says go to Scribble. So it, it's taking people, if they take the bonus, it's going to put them on your autoresponder list, which is completely separate from everything and build a list and our system will send them a new product from clickbank not this vault but from clickbank and tell them how to order it and it could make you some money uh, without you doing anything other than promoting these pages these are the pages that you would promote okay and it's all described in the video it's all in it's all in the video sorry um right up here the help video i know all about it Okay. It's really, really interesting how it works. It's, it's phenomenal. It includes tracking. You can also hook in an external autoresponder. 
I recommend World Profits. You can see I was playing around with it. I think Brian, Brian Armstrong, um, we helped you get this all rigged up and it works great. You can use your World Profit autoresponder, um, which comes with Platinum. If you upgrade to Platinum, you get the autoresponder. And the reason I am a big fan of this one, I don't use these ones up here. This, this I could just get rid of. I don't, I don't use that. The reason this is important is because it will hook into any autoresponder, traffic wave, rocket responder, anything. You, I would put my Aweber in here. I wouldn't do this one up here. I would, I would put my join form from whatever autoresponder you're using. Put that up here, the full URL, and a description. Because when somebody signs up to this, when they sign up here and they put their name and their email, they will receive an email from from the system saying you're on the last couple days. Here's some more information about Scribble, which it will send them. But importantly, here's Brian's and then his description and a link to his sign-up form. That way, they really know what they're doing. They click on it and they go. It also sends them a link to join World Profits associate program under you, indicating, do you want to get over 200 free products? Then they sign up. So there's so many things involved in this. And I created this over the span of many months, years ago. Okay, it works great because then you can capture leads this way rather than sending somebody to directly to a ClickBank product. Okay, it's good for just list building. All right. And you're welcome, Brian. It was uh, my pleasure. Yeah, Brian, wonderful. I saw your Facebook posting, and that's exactly how you want to do this whole thing. It really is. Okay. Yeah, this stuff works. If you know, if you ever have a problem with something, just fill out a support ticket and be as detailed as possible. And I've gone, I've, I've created good videos on things like how to sell products, how to use the autoresponder. They're all in there. Give them a good look. Um, take your time, watch them, because they're there to help you. And there's a, there's a lot of tools here, okay? So Sachin says, does it both of sync with other folders and Gmails? Yes, it does, as long as you sign up in Postbox for each one. So what you do is in Postbox, You'll scroll down and it will, or sorry, you could just go anywhere. Actually, you just right click in here. You right click and you say new account or sorry, settings. And you go down and you say add. So you add a mail account. And you put your name in here and importantly, your Gmail address. You can describe it if you want and put your password in. As soon as the system detects that you're doing Gmail, it will give you more instructions. And all it really is going to do is it's going to get you to log in using Chrome. Okay? Make sure you have your Chrome browser ready. And you log into that specific Gmail account in your Chrome browser. And then this thing will hook you in automatic. You won't do any settings. You won't need to worry about, oh, what's a sending mail server? And what's a receiving one? And what's this? And what's that? And drug me nuts, right? This will do it all for you. It's like I built it. <laughs> you know, one click. Take your time, though. Right? Take your time with it. Um, that's the thing. You don't have to configure anything. It will do it all for you. Everything will be done with Gmail with Postbox. It's automatic. You don't have to, this can be turned off except for, you know, your, your email and your password. Those are the two things you need. And you're going to want to write them down, right? You're going to want to write them down. Make sure you connect your phone too, right? To Gmail and stuff as a extra precaution. I think they almost require that now, but there you go. Are there any questions about that? Member questions?
No, Brian, no. No, they're, they, um, it's a complete automated system. So you can't send a newsletter to them because they, they kind of get quite a bit of email, right? They get an email every two days. And I designed that system to be hands-off. All you're doing, promoting the links. That's it. You don't need to do anything else. It just works for you. Now, can you take those people and email them? Yeah, you can email them if you want. That's just not built into the system. All right. What I do recommend, though, is make sure that when you go into your profile here, um, you know, if you can, make sure you have a phone number that, you know, you put in your own signature file and things. I highly recommend you just buy a Skype number. Uh, you can actually buy a phone number through Skype. And people can phone you to your Skype number. That's what we use at World Profit. This isn't a real number. It's gone. <laughs> it's fake. <laughs> Gosh, you know, this is from, oh, that number right there is 15 to 20 years old, I think. About 15 years old. That's an oldie. If you call it, you won't get us. <laughs> Make sure you load a photo up. Just use a PNG. You know, PNG file. I don't even know what that stands for. Whatever. There's GIF. There's JPEG. JPG, and there's PNG. I use PNG. You can even go on your computer and rename any image file PNG at the end, and it'll work. Uh, I tried getting a number. Skype number rings on your regular phone. How does it work? No, it just rings online. On um, You can call ours. Here, I'll give you our phone number. Call it. See what it does. I don't even know. I, I don't get a lot of calls because they go to voicemail. Um, I'll tell you our phone number right now. Just for you folks, just for fun. Uh, here's our Skype number. And I know everybody will call it. doesn't matter. It just goes to voicemail. But it, it'll come up. And it'll, it, it might show somebody calling, like if you phoned. I don't know. I can phone it on our phone. It just answers. I think it goes directly to voicemail. <clears throat> WordPress. I haven't had any problems with PNG on... WordPress, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, how does Canadian get this? Uh, Real, you just go into your Skype account and log in and, and maybe maybe Google it. Um, how to get a Skype phone number in Canada. I don't even know if they have Canadian numbers and um, online phone number, Skype number. So, there, it's right here. Uh, Skype is owned by Microsoft, by the way. So, you, then you, so I just Googled how to get a Skype number in Canada, and it says get a Skype number. So, I'm assuming this is how you do it. I don't think they have Canadian. Just get a, a U.S. one. It doesn't matter. It doesn't cost anything to own anyone anywhere. I don't know, maybe it's under more. I just use U.S., So there you go. That's, that's what I did. I did that so many years ago, Real, before they were owned by Microsoft. I bought a number and I still have 30 bucks. It costs like $2 a year or something. It's just crazy cheap. Um, I got rid of, <laughs> here's a funny one. I got rid of Google Plus finally. I updated all the sites. Poor Google. When will they learn? Um, Mary says, how do you know when you got a call from Skype? Does it forward? I think you set that up in Skype. And yeah, WhatsApp's fine. I don't think a lot of people have WhatsApp, but it's fine too. I think Facebook owns that. So what I'm going to do next week, and I'm, I'm going to, this is, this is really neat, is as you know, Seminar systems, meeting centers, you know, like the Personal Life Business Center, those are soon becoming a thing of the past because you can do meetings live in Facebook. You folks all know that, right? You can just go into Facebook, 
So you go to your Facebook account and say that you wanted to do um, a, you know, a meeting. Uh, you, you simply just go in and you can live webcast anytime you want, right? So you go to World Profit, well, I go to World Profit Members. You can create a group if you want, and you can do live video. So you would click on live video, and it will give you a link, and people could come in and they could see you live. That's a pretty easy meeting, and the best part about what I like about Facebook for live video, as well as YouTube, I mean, you can go to YouTube too, so say I am, I'll just go to YouTube, whatever. Um, I think if I just open this up, I'm better off doing that. So you go here and you say YouTube, you can go live anytime you want. You just book a channel, which again, you can Google that, how to get a channel on YouTube. And you click here and you just say go live. And, and anytime, you just say go live. I'm not going to do it now because my camera's on here. I don't want to take my camera off anytime you want and what will happen is it, you'll get a, a link and you can send it out to anyone and say I'm going to be live so Facebook does it just create a group too if you want but you anytime you want to do a live video you just click live video and then go from there absolutely free zoom same thing zoom I've heard about that too so I'm not going to compete with these giants right it's not worth it because it's completely free <laughs> It doesn't cost anything. It's amazing, absolutely incredible what's out there. And I do like the fact that it is through places like Facebook and Google because it's very, very secure. And if you have problems with anyone, you punt them or you file a complaint. You know, actually, Facebook's pretty good with that. And I don't think you're going to run into issues like that. But if you're a sponsor, play with this stuff. I'm going to do a video thing next week, okay, on this and, and how this is just the way of the future if you want to do live stuff. And me, I'm using Adobe Connect. And the reason I'm not bringing you that is it's 600 bucks a year. It's expensive. So I, I don't want to show people that. I'd rather just say, here's a just a quick way to do it, right? Okay, so what is it you're trying to add, Bobby Joe? And Fran says, Facebook PPC. What, what's Facebook PPC? I, I don't know what that is. Anyways, I'll do a video on this next week. Oh, pay-per-click. Yeah, I didn't know they had pay-per-click. Oh, oh, I mean, you mean, yeah, okay. Um, advertising in Facebook? Good, I, I, I hope so. Yeah, I, I hope so. Hey, do you folks want to see the new live business center? Speaking of live, I'll show it to you. Just a preview. You can't see this yet. So if you go to the URL, it'll just be a blank page. Um, what I've been working on, and I'll just bring this up real quick. This is, um, if I bring up default, I'll just turn on this live business center. Watch this. This is pretty cool. I think I need to have this one on. So, if I go default, put a little X in here. Modernizing the Live Business Center, okay, I'm, I'm modernizing it because I need it to work on, like, a lot more devices than it does. It, it works okay, but this new one here is more modern. And you can see this is after me just working for a few hours. So, this isn't the finished product. I plan on having a logo up here. That says World Profit Live Business Center. So it'll be it'll be a small logo, and it will be just like this. This is it. It's a beta version, and there's Real for real, and these are the people in the Live Business Center right now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna close that off in case you guys get some feedback from it. And I'm glad you love it. Um, it's it's uh, very modern. It uh, and and it can be a hundred percent on a mobile device. And people will be able to log in, and if you're on a phone or whatever, you'll be able to just see this only. And it will be released. I hope I can release it, you know, within the week. And I'm glad you all like it. I was kind of, uh, you know, it's hard for me because I kind of, I kind of uh, do things my way. 
Um, but this is pure HTML, and it's and Brian and the monitors in here. It's not going to change. Like none of the functions will change. You know, go live, and you know all the buttons. They're all there. They'll do the same thing. Hope Riel doesn't mind me doing this. But if I click Send Three, I guess Send One's the best one. It still comes up. There's a little dot here. You know, these kinds of things I get to fix, right? And it's just one of those things. Um, I don't even know why that dot shows up there. It should only show up on the other one. But anyways, that's, this is part of programming, right? You're like, why is there a dot there? It shouldn't be there. It should be over. Anyways, um, I'm very happy with it, and it will be good forever. Um, the new technology that we use, um, which is the same as the other LBC, by the way. This is the same code and everything. It's just more uh, fits into the, you know, it fits in better. Right? And if you squeeze the monitor down, it, it squeezes like accordion better. Okay, so it's exciting. It's a really exciting project for me to kind of bring something new. Okay, the whole system is going to be tested and everything. And so what I'm going to do is before it comes out, I will make sure you all know. We'll send you a monitor email. But uh, honestly, it won't change. Like, nothing will change. All the functions are there. You'll hit go live and everything. By the way, if you want, a lot of you don't know this. But if you go over anybody's video and you right-click on it, do you see how it says show controls? You can actually control volume here. Okay, so you see the volume? You can change that. You can, I don't know if pause works. I don't think pause would work on a live video. But you can actually go full screen. I'm not going to do that because Riel will go, wow, you're looking at my whole head. It'll come up on the whole screen. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Um, I mean, not because of Riel. I, I, I don't want to see the guy full screen, but you can. And you can actually, I don't even know if pause works. I think, yeah, pause wouldn't work on a live video. So this stuff won't work, obviously, because it's live. Okay. But if you do, if you do want to turn the volume down, you, you can control the volume here. Okay, um, while he's up. All right, and you can, of course, you can mute somebody. So you can turn off their speaker up here. But I'm just saying there's more controls here, which you can have come up. So it's there. Okay, so I'm going to just shut this down. And I'll go back to this. Why do you want to upgrade to Platinum? Well, if you've whitelisted us, <laughs> you'll, you'll know how valuable the services are. Um, 40% instead of 20% commission. We love paying commissions. Tomorrow is a big day. We pay commissions tomorrow for all the sales you've made in January. All right. And if you upgrade, you get 40% commission instead of 20. You get the autoresponder, World Profit Autoresponder, uh, ClickBank Superstore, ClickBank Sales Manager, Advanced Ad Tracker, mega traffic injections every month. Um, I was going to show you that. I'm going to show you the bonuses, you know, how that all works, because a couple of people were confused about it. I get it. There's a lot of sites, right? But they're all really good to promote um, anything to, any affiliate program to, for life. Um, Platinum VIP bonus area, credits, you name it. Okay, so there's a lot there. If you're interested, please contact support. Okay, and Sandy Hunter, our president, will put a package together for you. Okay. Um, Dan says, does World Profit Training require step-by-step -step learning or use the videos? I would recommend two things, Dan. Number one, yes. Go, go to the product or service that you're interested in. Watch the help video. Number two, fill out a support ticket if you have questions. All I ask is keep your questions pertaining to that product. So many people fill in one support ticket and they say, I, I need help with the ClickBank Maximizer and I also have questions about this other product. And you know, the SafeList Extreme, I can't log in and I'm like, whoa, 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 let's just do one thing at a time. So fill out three tickets rather than, you know what I mean? So try to keep your support to that one subject and then we'll, we'll handle it and then we'll move on to other stuff. But I want to talk to you about um, getting the video, the bonuses. Okay, how do you get those? Well, we'll go here. And what we do is when we set you up with the bonuses, we send you here. 
you end up going to solo ads and traffic, extreme traffic package. And you're gonna, first thing you'll see is 12 safe lists. The reason we've left this at 12 is because you'll fill out this form. You'll, you'll see this appear magically here. And it will say, you know, use, this is a number, and this is a number, the rest are usernames. Usernames can be numbers, it depends. When you signed up, you made up the username. So write them down, and then you can write them in here. The only exceptions, again, are you're going to get a number from Quantum Safe List, and you're going to get a number from SEO Optimizer Pro. Okay, those are the only two numbers, the rest are just whatever you made up. This is optional, you can fill out subject message if you want to send out the, uh, the uh, um, solo for you. As soon as you upgrade, we're going to send you, do you see where it says after you finish this form submission, we will send you a report which includes instructions to get the remaining six. Okay, so there's 18 upgrades. Okay. This whole thing here, everything that you're seeing, ties in very well to the multi-commission system. Okay, so you can sign up for them like very easily in here. Okay, very easily. You just click and go and you're all set. All right, and then of course these all go in with the um, traffic injections that you um, you can get set up. Okay, so traffic injections I think are um, right here under Biz Builders traffic injections. They all relate to each other. So if you use the multi-commission system to sign up, this will get populated automatically for you. I know it's a lot of stuff, but it is business, right? Better than buying a franchise. <laughs> Fran says, is the Solo Blaster for silver or platinum for both? Yes, that's right. If you're platinum, you can blast out quite a bit. And it does work, yeah. Quantum Safe List is essentially the blaster, right? So, <clears throat> yeah, there's a Solo Email Blaster right here. Go in here. You should be signed up. Um, it'll say that your account is active in the multi-commission system. It'll detect all that. Again, I'm on my hands and knees here. Please write these things down. That way you don't lose your mind saying, what was quantum safe list again? <laughs> what was the ID? <laughs> I have people always emailing their ID for world profit. And I go, no, no, that's not your quant. You know, I know there's a million IDs, right? Everybody's signed up into everything. You get your this and that no. So anyways, it'll tell you your address is here. If you want, you could use the same Gmail for both. I don't care anymore. It's up to you. Um, you can log in here. And then you can post your ads. Okay. That's right. Highly recommend RoboForm. Okay, folks, I'm going to sign off. Um, I'm going to wish everybody again a, a very happy Valentine's Day. Um, long weekend, I think, for everyone. Family day in Canada. Don't know what it is in the States. Anyways, um, all the best to everybody. Have a great weekend. And monitors, a huge thank you again to Linda and Brian, who oversee the monitor program. And a huge thank you again to all the monitors and all of you for doing a great job. If you have any issues, fill out a support ticket. Um, you can see these right here. You see these, what I see here. You can see this if you just go in your member area, bootcamp training, click on workshop notes. Okay, it'll, it'll bring that area up for you. Okay, so enjoy.